All right. Um, this is from Popular Information, that website at Substack.com that uh, Judd Legum and a couple other people write for, uh, Popular Information. And he uh, he writes today about how the Florida Commissioner of Education, a guy named Manny Diaz, Jr., lashed out at Popular Information's recent reporting on Florida classroom libraries. Now, you know about this already because the fascist Christian governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, has ordered a shutdown of real education in the state of Florida and all sorts of penalties for teachers who don't obey his director, uh, his directive. Um, Manny Diaz Jr. went to the National Review for an interview that was published on Monday. And he said that what popular information had reported, as did the Washington Post, as did MSNBC, as did CNN, as did every legitimate news organization in this country, it's been going on now for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, but Manny Diaz said that popular information's reporting was, quote, fake news from media activists too lazy to read Florida law, end quote. Well, I beg to differ, Manny, and you should be ashamed of yourself. You really should. Is this what you learned when you took your catechism classes? To lie? To do this? To bear false witness? Shame on you, Manny. But it was Manny Diaz in this interview with the National Review, who lied about his own department's guidance because he was trying to defend the fascist Christian governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. Now, the backstory, if you want to call it that, on January 23rd, Popular Information reported that teachers in Manatee County, Florida, are being told to make their classroom libraries unavailable to students, classroom libraries unavailable to students, or they face, the teachers do, felony prosecution. And a memo that was created by the Manatee County School District and then distributed to principals in that district instructed the teachers to, quote, remove or cover all classroom libraries until all materials can be reviewed. Reviewed. Now, the chief of staff of the Manatee County School District told Popular Information, by the way, his name is Kevin Chapman. He said that at that same meeting where the memo was distributed, principals were told that teachers who fail to comply with this rule regarding classroom libraries could face stiff penalties, including third-degree felony charges. And then that mass message was passed on to Manatee County teachers. Do you see what's going on here? I, I, I know you do. Yes, of course you do. Of course you do. And the books that have the governor this fascist Christian DeSantis and this crazy bastard Manny Diaz, the Florida Commissioner of Education, Jr., what what has him upset are books that talk about the reality of racism in this country, the reality of race relations, such as they have been, the reality of enslaved people, the struggles, the pain, the suffering, what they went through, what, if anything, is owed to these people by the larger society, and... Any topic having to do with human sexuality, especially where it concerns gender identification, lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual attitudes, questions, thoughts. No, no. No race, no sex. Why wouldn't they say, yes, talk about race, talk about sex, but no religion? In the classrooms. Manny Diaz 
In his lies, he told the National Review that teachers who packed up their classroom li- uh, libraries were participating in what he called a stunt that was only being done to damage Manny Diaz's Lord and Savior, Ron DeSantis, politically. That's all it was, a stunt. Diaz in this interview said this, quote, I think this is clearly an intentional effort to cause confusion and make it look like the state of Florida, the governor, the legislature, are trying to ban books or trying to create this authoritarian state. Well, bingo, Manny! That's exactly what you crazy bastards are trying to do in the state of Florida. Exactly. And then... Manny went on in the interview to say this. Teachers are free to apply common sense when examining their classroom libraries and only remove books that, in the teacher's opinion, are in a gray area. A gray area? Teacher's opinion? Manny, according to your own religion you're going to burn in hell because you are violating one of those sacrosanct Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not lie. You know damn good and well that's not what the law says, Manny. But this is what he went on to say, Manny, in this interview with National Review, quote, when you're looking at these, the books, if there's something in a gray area that you think could be an issue, pull that book aside and have it vetted by the process to make sure that indeed it should be in that library. That doesn't mean that you cover your library or shut it down. End quote. Now, what Diaz said in this interview directly contradicts the training manual that was produced by his own agency, the Florida Department of Education. There is a slide in that in that presentation, slide number 22 in the training that says, quote, only a certified media specialist can select materials for any school library, including classroom libraries. (laughs) Oh, God. Um, The training reminds media specialists that making materials harmful to minors available could result in felony prosecution. And it goes on to say that the way to handle this, excuse me, the way to handle this is the teachers should cover or remove Books from the library. Even though Manny tells National Review, that's exactly what it doesn't say. Diaz also said that teachers' concerns about this infringement on education are unnecessary because only materials deemed, quote, harmful to minors by DeSantis' definition or Manny's definition would result in a, quote, third-degree felony charge. Now, this means that books by, say, Pulitzer Prize winner Toni Morrison would be considered pornography. And further, this crazy bastard Manny Diaz notes that a teacher who allows books that are unvetted and inappropriate but not, in the words of the Florida Department of Education, not, quote, harmful to minors, just books that are unvetted, would be addressed through an administrative process. And that process could result in a teacher having her or his teacher license revoked and losing his or her job. I I mean, you do understand, don't you, truth seeker? What is going on? Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy 
24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.